Groove Agent 5 has a lot of flexibility and power when utilizing the internal effects. Let's take a look at how to use the effects on the different agents such as Beat Agent, Acoustic Agent, and Percussion Agent. Beat Agent can send to different effects via buses or an individual pad could be sent to a particular effect. When we have the instrument tab selected, the agent and edit and main, we could see our bus assignments as we select the pad here. We could have up to 16 buses that can be freely configured for each of the pads. In this example, I have kicks going out of bus one, snares out of bus two, hi-hats bus three, and percussion to bus four. If I wanted to apply insert effect directly to my bus one, what I could do is click on the mixer and select the agent. Here I see four insert effects per bus and we can see all 16 buses by clicking on these numbers up top. The buses can also be double clicked and renamed to make it easier. If I wanted to add a EQ to my kick drum bus as an insert, this. If I wanted to add an auxiliary send that could be accessed by multiple tracks, sounds, click on the aux, and then I could add a reverb to send one. And let's do a delay to send to. Now, if I wanted my snares to go out to the reverb, I could adjust the send level on the slider here for my snare bus. Now each send could also be stacked with up to four effects. So if you wanted to do something creative, like filter your reverb, we could just use. If I wanted to send a single pad to a particular auxiliary send, I could select the pad. We'll solo the pad or hi-hat. Let's go to the edit to amp, and then we could just add and route to the auxiliary send, like there. To process the entire kit as a single entity, I could click on kits under mixer and go directly to my maximizer. The acoustic agent can be slightly different in some of its configuration where we could have the same kits. So when we go to our agent, I could see my auxiliary sends and access them the same way. And each agent could have their own auxiliary sends that are completely independent. So everything that I set up in Beat Agent retains in its settings. And when I go to my acoustic agent, they will have independent settings. Where it differs is when we go to the agent. Here, our busing will be kind of pre-configured for us, where you see our kicks, snares, hi-hats, and toms. And this is set up because when we look at the kits, the kits are pre-configured with the acoustic agent. Our kick drum and snare may have multiple elements. And if I wanted to see like the in and out mic of my kick or the top and bottom mic of my snare, instead of these being grouped together, I can now go directly to kick in and out my kick and snare, and I could see them broken out. If I click on my toms, I can now see the individual toms. So these will have our four auxiliary sends. So if I wanted to 
again, access my aux end where I set up the reverb on send one. And if I wanted to access that on my snare, we have rotary encoders that are very similar in concept to an analog console. Now, as we would click on different sources, we also have a full channel strip. And as we look at the full channel strip, this gives us four bands of parametric EQ. And this is for every single source with independent settings, compression, tape saturation, and an envelope shaper, which is like a transient designer. I could also come over here and I could see my room and overhead mics, but I could also have my overall mix. So if I wanted to play this particular agent, I could add more drive or a dedicated reverb that you could blend in. And this is part of the kit the kit so some of the kits will have kind of unique signal processing directly here within the mixer having a full channel strip on every single source is very powerful and again the ability to access particular uh, aux sends and if we wanted to send like my snares to a particular physical output, I could just click here and I could route them to any of my 32 stereo outputs that would be sent to my host application. The percussion agent will be very similar in concept to the acoustic agent with the exception that we could now come over here and there's more buses. So as I would play, and again, everything would have four bands of parametric EQ, compression, tape saturation, and envelope shaping. So if I just wanted to kind of play these different agents together, we can see that they would all have independent settings for the agents as we go through. Independent auxiliary sends for each one as well as your kit mixer. And if I wanted a global mixer for all of my independent kits, what I could do is now just come directly here to my master and be able to process multiple agents simultaneously all that easily. So as we wanted to have this flexibility, now one thing that was even more powerful that was introduced is the ability to take all of these settings and transfer them to my Cubase mixer. So for instance, if I have my percussion agent, I could right click on the agent and say export mixer and effects to Cubase. And we'll watch as I click on this, all of these settings would automatically translate directly into my Cubase mixer. As you see, being able to have that flexibility and power of the internal routing for inserts and sends, the channel strip, and being able to access 32 stereo outputs into your DAW and translate all the internal settings directly into your Cubase leads for a very powerful setup with Groove Agent 5. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.